So here we have three containers, all filled with uh, just classroom tap water. Uh, you'll notice that there's labels on each of the containers. The first one says hypotonic, which means low particles dissolved in the water. So really, the only particles that are in that water are any of the stuff that may have come out of the faucet. We're not going to add anything to that water. The next one is an isotonic, which means equal particles. Um, and we're going to add some salt to that uh, container, and we'll just add a moderate, just keep going, a moderate amount of salt, and then we'll mix it up. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. You can invert that whole thing just upside down. That's good right there. Perfect. Then we're going to stir that one up. We want to try and dissolve our salt um, into that container. It will slowly dissolve away even if you can still see a little bit of sediment on the bottom but we'll come back and mix it again and then our last container which says hypertonic hyper the prefix means high or more that's gonna have a whole ton of salt in it so we're gonna add whatever we just put in the isotonic container plus a whole bunch more so let's go ahead keep going do to do to do, do wow this is gonna be pretty salty and quit all right, let's go ahead and mix that up pretty good. So we have three different solutions here. Again, hypotonic, isotonic, and hypertonic. These tonic words, however, are comparison words. And so we're going to compare the solution in each of these containers to something else. The something else is going to be a carrot, a plant cell, or a plant. So we're going to take three of the same size carrots, if you would, show us our beautiful carrots. All right, lovely. And then we're going to put one carrot in each of these containers and see what happens to them over the weekend. So one and two and three. So you can make your predictions as to what you think might happen. Uh, they all felt like regular carrots, uh, rigid with a little bit of bendiness. And then we're going to see what happens on Tuesday. Happy weekend.